Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about pre-compiling C++ headers. Now before talking about how to pre-compile the headers, we will first talk about why do we need to pre-compile those headers. So you must be familiar with this particular header bit slash stdc++.h. This is a very popular header and if you are into competitive programming then like you must have uh, used it very pretty much. Uh, all the people suggest to use this particular header because it includes all the other headers like uh, algorithms stacks, queues and uh, maps, vectors, it includes everything. That is why it is uh, advisable to use just one particular header instead of including them individually. But the problem with this particular header is its size. As it, as it is bigger in size because it includes all the other headers, its compile time increases. For example, this is just a simple snippet of code which I like, like I have included no statements. It's just, it will just compile this particular header and there are no other statements to execute as you can see. So. If I run this program, then you can see the compilation took 1.4 seconds. Let me run this again. This time again 1.4 seconds and uh, the third time also 1.4 seconds. So you can see it's it's just to compile this particular header, it's taking 1.4 seconds. And keep in mind that I have a, a Ryzen 7 CPU. So if you have a, like a weaker CPU, then this time like might increase and vary a, a little bit uh, according to your CPU. So uh, let me just show you one more example. If I like put my laptop on silent mode. Now what this silent mode does is uh, it like in layman manner it uh, reduces the power of the CPU. So now if I run this it will take much more time than the previous time. Yes, as, you, as you can see like this time it is taking 3.4 seconds. I'll run it once more. Uh, this time it took 3.5 seconds. So you can see like from 1.2 seconds it bounced up to like 3.5 seconds from 1 to 3 seconds on a, like uh, if we round it up it's from 1 second to 3 seconds. So if you like I've even seen it go up to like uh, 7 or 8 seconds. So as you can see like if you talk if you just take it like 3 seconds on an average uh, 3 seconds every time you compile your code is like a very large amount of time. Uh, like uh, for example, if you are uh, uh, checking for bugs in your uh, or ch debugging your program, like every time you have to hit uh, compile, it will take three seconds, at least three seconds just to compile the program, and the rest of uh, rest of the time will be taken by running your program. So you will have to wait at least three seconds every time. So this time is like a very huge uh, if you like compare it uh, with the pre-compiled headers. So that's why we need to pre-compile these headers so that we can reduce this compile time. So now I'll, I will show you how to pre-compile those headers. Let me just put it back first. So first, the first step is to go into your mingw directory. So I, I've, I've actually changed the location of the mingw folder, but if you have uh, li like used the default installation, then it would be present somewhere here in the C drive of your system. So the, yeah, like here like you might you might find a folder like this mingw here now this folder is empty but if you have like not changed your default installation directory your mingw folder will be here but if you have changed it you have to first locate the mingw folder then you have to open this folder now i'll open a couple of folders in series you have to like keep in mind what folders i'm opening and you have to open them in the same sequence so after opening the mingw folder i'll open the lib folder and in the lib folder, I will go to GCC, then mingw32, then this version number, and then go to include, then go to C++, then go to mingw32 again, and then go to bits. So these are all the headers present here. As you can see, I have this header standard C++.h. So this is the header I'm using in this code, standard C++.h, and I need to pre-compile this header. So now I will show you how to pre-compile the header. The first step is to first open the command prompt and for that you have to press windows plus R on your on your desktop or your on your laptop and uh, you have to write cmd, type cmd here, I have already typed it. So after typing cmd you can press enter. Now the command prompt will open. So the first step uh, is something that you need to take care in mind. For example, if you have like uh, your mingw folder is in C drive, if it is like in this default place, then you don't need to follow the first step. The first step is only for those people who have changed their installation directory to some other drive. For example, I have it in D drive. So the first step in the first step, what I need to do is type D and then semicolon. If you have saved it in E drive, then you need to type E then semicolon and press enter. 
now it is in d drive now the second step is to go into this folder for that you just need to copy this from here from the top address bar you need to copy this and uh, go back to your command prompt then type cd and press and this paste this and press enter so after you are in your folder then you will see the whole path present here now in case you don't see this path like uh, there might be some issue with spaces like as you can see i have spaces if you don't have any spaces in your path then it won't be a issue the the problem will never appear but if you have spaces then there might be an issue where like you cannot get into this folder if you do not see this then there is one work around through this first you'll have to go to the drive and type cd and paste the whole path in inverted commas remember this is only when you have spaces in your path and the earlier method doesn't work only then follow this if you have if you are already shown the path like if you are already seeing this whole path then you are good to go you have no problem you don't need to follow this third step so now the fourth step is to uh, like copy the name of this file standard c++.h remember to copy the whole whole name with the extension .h .h signifies that it is a header file now i need to go here type here g++ and paste the name so as you can see i have pasted the whole name and when i press enter now this command will compile this header so after compiling you will see a file here standard c++.h.gch now this gch signifies that it is a pre compiled header as you can see the earlier the file size the header of file size was 3 kb and now this file has like a size of 35.8 mb so this is the pre compiled header and it is very huge in size as you can see now we don't need to do anything you can safely close this window and uh, what g++ compiler does is whenever you compile whenever you like include this header or any particular header it first look for the pre compiled header if this pre compiled header is present then it will the, the compiler will use this pre compiled header otherwise it compiles this header file okay so now as you can see i have already included the header uh, i have compile this header so the next time i run this program as you can see it is now finished in 384 milliseconds earlier it was taking more than 1 second now it's taking this 384 milliseconds so now you see the difference between the time taken uh, between uh, like if you are if you have pre compiled header present and if you don't have it present and uh, for example i'll just show you once more if i cut it if i remove this pre compiled header from here let me just paste it here on my desktop uh view so i have i have this pre compiled header pasted here now it is not present here and let me just run the program again again it is taking 1.4 seconds so you can see the difference between the time and if i in, uh, include this again if i move this here and run the program again 395 milliseconds so it is it is very like clear that if you have the header pre compiled then it takes much less time uh, rather than compared to like if you don't have it pre compiled so this was all about this video and you can use this pre compiled header to like greatly reduce your compiling time now see there is a difference between compiling time and run time this will only help you to reduce the compile time and and does not have any effect on your run time the run time of your code heavily depends on the algorithm you have used and uh, the time complexity of your code it will not help you to get rid of tle it's just for you to reduce your compile time so it's easier for you to run the program again and again okay so this was all for today's video i hope uh, you guys enjoyed the video if you did please drop a like if you do, if you love the content please do subscribe to this channel now stay safe keep coding bye bye